Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. And yes, I am back doing the recording full time. The last episode of Atlas you saw was from quite a few weeks ago, actually. I was just using old footage and, well, actually getting caught up on the old footage. We are back here, and this is all new in the new home, and we're going to see what we can do about catching some of the missions or doing some of the missions that we had from the monster fish missions before Halloween gets here which is in a couple of months and once that does get here I don't know if they've made any changes if they're going to be anything new but I want to have all these missions free if I can I never did get caught up on them so let's go ahead and set this a private room but what we're looking for here is the Voodoo fish, if I'm not mistaken. Let me make sure of that. White moose voodoo, voodoo fish monster. It says, according to an old Native American legend, the voodoo fish weighing over 40 pounds comes out of its abysmal hideout only when the earth and moon are in specific alignment with Kalut Nanu, the brightest star in a Pisces constellation. Use the special voodoo shells as bait to summon this mysterious fish and prepare for a tough fight. Well, it looks like we already have the voodoo shells, and I need to get a match float rod. So let me take a look here and see that I make sure I have all that. Yep, there it is. That's what they look like. And this is a the Brutus 9 foot by 10 inch. That is a match rod, and it is one of the biggest, if not the biggest. I think it's one of the biggest. It used to be the biggest. I think we're ready to go ahead and go on that. I don't know how deep it's going to have to be. But we'll start at about 40 inches just to see if that works. And uh, it is in the center of the day. We are at the peak. So we might as well go ahead and jump in and see what happens here, guys. Alright. Looks like they did change the chat. Even though we're in a private room, it looks like we're seeing everything <laughs> the people are saying. Now, I'll be perfectly honest, I'm not sure where I'm going to catch this guy. So we're going to go ahead and try right out here. Like I said, we'll start at 40 inches. Three odd hook. We've got 14 of these shells. And I guess the, it's just a waiting game at this point. Holy crap. That's. <laughs> They have changed the zoom in. Check that out. Whoa. Well, no problem seeing that. Yeah, apparently they made some updates to a few things. I think I'm going to reel this in real quick. I might need to change my bobber size. I don't need one quite that big. Let me see here. Let's go to settings. Okay, let's go with medium instead. Kind of amazed, honestly. 
let me see if we can't go ahead and set up a couple of our rods here while we're at it. Might as well catch some. No tackle on rod number one. Let's see. Ah, okay. That's all right. Let's see what pound test do we have? Thirty-five pound. We've got titanium lead, chubby bobber. Let's make sure that this isn't too heavy. Looks like it's good to go. And you left click here for details. Anything new to add? I don't know if this is the best time to catch it or not, honestly. But we are going to throw a couple of our other gear out here and see if we can't get something. Throw that right out there. Caviar bait. All right, looks like we've already got a bite. That didn't take long. Let's see here. Yeah, this is those brown trout eggs I had left over from one of the other monster fish missions. And I have some caviar bait left over too. Boy, this is a big fish, whatever it is. Damn. I'm coming, that gun it. Trophy Lake Trout, not bad. I gotta get this because it's trying to drive me nuts. Okay, he's not as big as I, he was acting like he was. <laughs> yep, yeah, he is a burbot. Just a regular size one. Let's go ahead since we got the rod pot out there. Cause gosh, I'm not getting much of a cast. Hold on, let's take the tension down a little bit. I don't know if it's because of the line or the weight. No, let's just give it a try. Might use the heavier bobber next time. I'll put that in the third holder. I think I am going to fix this too while I'm at it. Not sure what happened there. I must have. Must have had a big fish. Let's see. Too light. Well, let's see if we get the. Wait a minute, let's try this one. Still too light. Damn. Let's see. Let's use some of that mono. Yeah, it's going to have to be a little on the light side. We'll throw... Wow, well, damn. It's got a good cast, though. Throw this one over here.
And then this one, way out here. Sure don't have to wait long. Okay, this is big. I'm kind of keeping an eye on that shell. See, I have a feeling I'm going to have to come back at night to get that guy. So nothing's even touching it. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of lake trout. Alright, I did do a little bit of digging before I decided to advance time. Apparently it has nothing to do with the time, except that the peak mark probably would help. The big thing that we've got to do is we've got to make sure that our lead is all the way out. And we got to get a lot more distance in our casting. So I'm going to see how far I can get with what I have. If nothing bites off of this, then I'm going to probably need to change my line to something a little bit smaller like 20 pound i'd rather not have to do that because i'm afraid this thing is going to break it but i think i'm going to get enough distance out here and apparently he can be found around in this area so let's see what that does here And this new zoom in that will not be an issue seeing what happens so <laughs> damn I wonder why they changed that I mean I'm glad they did just really strikes me so it, it, yep just a tap we'll, we'll see if anything goes for it Well, there we go. There we go. Whoa. I don't know if that's it. It might be. Yep, this is it. He just didn't realize he was caught. Yeah, somebody must have complained about the zoom in capability not being enough. Yeah, this is going to be a fight. This is going to be a fight. But we will get him in here. And there he is. Oh, wow. <laughs> so he's a modified burbot. That's cool. All of those Native American symbols he's got all over him. That's kind of cool. Let's get into the light here so we can get a better shot. 2163. Let's get a picture here. There you go. Let's get in the sunlight so we can get a good that. That looks nice. That's a nice picture there, guys. That is a funky looking fish. 51.651 inches, 39.925 pounds. And that's a good picture. 
All right. The voodoo fish is caught. That means 4,470 XP, 3,990 cash, and two gold, and a voodoo fish mount. See, what I don't understand, though. We don't have any place to put the mounts. Is that something in the near future? Something worth thinking about, I guess. Well, anyway, let's see here. What do we got left? Missions, we got that one done. So, we did the Dender Fin, but we did that in the Fisherman. Now we know how to get that, we might have to catch that one. Finally. The Hassan Joaquin Gourmet Spoon and the Kanikri Albano Blackfish Monster. That'll complete them, and they'll be done before the Halloween event, which means we can focus on the Gar, if that's what they're doing. Uh, apparently, they've added some new gear, too. I don't know if we'll be able to see it here, but it's... Let's see, well, they got spinner baits and buzz baits, but they're not in this. Ugh, of course not. And apparently there's some others, too. Spinner... No, they already had that. Swim baits, that's new. Uh, slug, that's new for the crawls and creatures. Yeah, we're going to have to take a look at that when we get a chance. Alright, I think what I'm going to do, honestly, there is one other mission. I'm not going to do it in this because it's... Well, I could do it. <laughs> do it in the next episode, maybe. Let me see if I can find it here. Let's see, it's under exploration. Here it is, White and Moose Exploration. In this, you got to catch a pumpkin seed, a lake chub, and a white sucker. Lake chub? Hold on. I don't remember there being lake chubs in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, they are. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's do that real quick. And I tell you, there's a great spot to get them, too. I know exactly where. Right down here at Dam Road. We're going to need to change our rod here. Let's see. I think I might have a smaller one. I'm not sure. No, but we can use this one. What we'll do is we'll take this back up to 40. Let's get a much smaller hook. Ah, six will work. Smaller bobber. This will work. And lighter line. So probably this 20 pound test will do just fine. Heck, no wonder they're not even on the list for that. Let's see. There you go. Wax worms. Let's see if there's any over there by those that log. Okay, looks like we got us a bite. Let's zoom in on here and take a look and see what this guy does. Yeah, I don't think I have anything smaller than a number six. Which is a little on the large side for what we need, but... There we go. This is probably the pumpkin seed. Ah, shoot. Oh, it counted. It counted. 
Okay, now we need a lake chub. Okay, let's try full depth. Well, I'm just going to see. They might be a deep fish. Yep, and I think that was it. Well, I don't know. That's kind of a lot of tension for such a little fish. Nope, that's it. We got the white sucker. So the lake chub is all that's left. Now, I would have thought the sucker would have gone for the semolina balls. Okay, let's see if we can get it. There we go. Okay, this is not a lake chub. It's another white sucker. New personal record white sucker. Why do I have a bad feeling this little bitty lake chub is going to be hard as hell to catch? <laughs> okay, looks like we're getting a lot of yellow perches. Let's try taking the depth back down. Let's try a little closer to shore. Maybe they're in closer. Well, we have caught everything but the lake chub. Is there anything that they specifically go for that none of these others do? Let's see. Semolina balls, red worms. I don't think we have red worms. We tried the blood worms. Lots of things go for that, too. Let's see. I don't think we have red worms with us. Yeah, we do. Okay, let's try that. Maybe the hook's too big. I mean, it's possible. This is a very tiny fish. I mean... Deck on near a minnow. I mean, it's. Come on. Is that him? Yep, there it is. We got him. That's like I said, he's barely a minnow. <laughs> All right. Another mission complete. 1,500 more cash and another gold. And some good braid line, which I can always use. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And we will be back with another episode of 
Fishing Planet Classic. I think what we're going to mainly be doing, like I said, is going through and trying to clean up some of these old missions. Until we can get enough levels to get to a different lake. And that's the big goal, to get to a different different lake. I've been trying to get to a new one for a while here. Yeah, Lake Baggersy I'm not real fond of. Uh, for the cost, not my favorite of the lakes. But the next ones really sound to be, I mean, they sound like they're going to be great. Especially the one that we just, they just added. Well, anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.